it snows. Storm. Ah, uh, these aren't snowflakes. These are the instructions of how our bodies are built. This is a chromosome. As in real, Okay. Well, I've heard about those, actually. So where in the body are they found? Think back to the work you did on cells. These are in the nucleus of every cell in our body. That's a lot of chromos. So is there just one in every cell? <laughs> in humans, there are 23 pairs in every cell. But all organisms have chromosomes to instruct the organism how to build itself. Right. I think we'll need to take this rather slowly. So do all chromosomes come in pair, 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 pairs? Yes. Unless there's something wrong with them. But we'll come later. So why do they always come in? That's easy. We get one half of a pair from each parent. Which allows I little 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 variation to occur. I'm not sure I'm following this. Okay, look, I'm sure this lot will be pretty familiar to most of you. It goes back to the sperm and the egg cell and the moment of fertilization. Oh, sex. We all know about that. Yes, yes. Yes. When the two cells meet, or rather, when the egg is fertilised, the corresponding chromosomes pair off. So chromosome number three in the sperm cell will find chromosome number three in the egg cell, and chromosome number 20 will seek out chromosome number 20 in the other cell, until all of the chromosomes have found their partners. Oh, I get it. But wait a minute. Surely this means that every sperm cell and every egg cell only has one set of chromosomes i.e. 23 single chromosomes, instead of 23 pairs. Exactly. Instead of 23 pairs. Exactly. Instead of 23 pairs. Exactly. Reproductive cells which produce sperm and egg cells are very because of this. They are the only cells in our body to have a single set of our 23 chromosomes. And this is so that when the egg is fertilised, we get an equal number of chromosomes from each parent so that we get the full set of 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs. For the first time, I think I actually understand it. But why do we have so many chromosomes? Well, we are very complex. Each chromosome contains a number of genes, which are basically chemical instructions for one particular feature. For example, eye colour. Or hair type and colour. Or height. Or, 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 or limb length, etc. But there are so many options for variation. How does all that work? Basically, some genes are said to be more dominant than others. So, for instance, if one parent was to contribute a brown eye gene and the other parent was to contribute a blue eye gene, the brown eye <laughs> means that the child has brown eyes. Oh, I see. But why do people have blue eyes then? Hold on. Is it because that both parents contribute a blue eye gene? So there's no brown eye gene present at all? Yeah, you're getting the hang of this now. OK, so when each chromosome finds its partner, the genes match up too. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sex. Pe 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 pe